Hi, this is Kehlani and I'm gonna walk you through my everyday skin routine and my very basic everyday glowy face. So the first step, it's a creamy cleanser. Um, I like this a lot because I have really, really dry skin. So I kind of need something that's like hydrating and doesn't leave me feeling all tight and gross. Little circles, you know, you know the vibes. All right. I use this toner from Belief. So because I have dry skin, I have to make sure that I continuously, like in between each step, I just keep layering hydration. So my third step is just this like aqua bomb mist from Belief. Just a quick little like spray. Dr. Dennis Gross. This stuff is great. I use this morning, night, all of it. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna lock all that in with an essence. And mine is a snail mucin essence. I know that probably sounds funny. This is like a major key in Korean skincare. I don't know how to pronounce that brand, but I just call it the snail stuff. So I just take a couple drops, just like this. See, it's really slimy. So my favorite is the Paula's Choice Omega Complex Moisturizer, which is a big like barrier healer because I have problems with my skin barrier. And then I take my Bio Essence Vitamin C like rose oil. So I'm gonna take like three little droplets of that and put it in my moisturizer because I'm super dry. I started breaking out here, 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 and here, and here when I was pregnant. And um, so I had to use something that would balance my hormones. So I actually had to get an entire new set of a skin routine because I was just freaking out everywhere. And then after I had my baby, I feel like my skin just got a lot more dry and I think it's just now bouncing back and getting back in the swing of things and you know, but I'm hydrating a lot more just internally and doing a lot of hydrating sleeping masks. So those are also a big secret and tip. Okay, so my last step is SPF. Okay, that's it for my skincare. So I'm gonna walk you through a really basic um, face with like a little bit of like of a orange sunsetty kind of eye and i'm in no way a makeup artist but makeup artists always tell me that i have like really fun like eye space like they tell me this all the time so i had really had no idea what that meant but apparently it means i have enough eye space to play on so i just have fun with it sometimes um the first thing i would take is this honest beauty like magic beauty balm so i'm gonna take a little bit and i'm gonna put it in my dryer areas so my forehead gets really dry under the makeup, picks up makeup weird, my nose. So my first step that I'm gonna use is the Pat McGrath foundation. What I love about the Pat McGrath stuff is it's so light. Like it's just not super thick. And I feel like I need like sheer stuff cause we have to layer on a lot of stuff as we go. So I'm gonna take my my MAC Prep and Prime spray and spray it on my beauty blender because I want it to be wet, but I don't want it to be like too wet. I'm gonna put a little bit of the foundation on my hand. I remember the first time I went on tour and I couldn't afford a makeup artist, it was my first tour. Um, I walked into the MAC store and I grabbed the first person I can see and she's actually a, a, really, a pretty cracking like Latina influencer. And I just said, yo, do show me a basic face and whatever you put in front of me, I'm gonna buy. And whatever she put in front of me that day, I bought that she used on my face. But I basically just evolved from that basic face that she taught me. I have like, this is like a little bit thicker. It's, it's a NARS foundation. So I'll take this and like get some of the spots that I feel like that other foundation couldn't get. Like right there that breakout, my chin, and maybe my funny little bruise that I've got going on up there from a microdermabrasion home machine I was not supposed to be using. So I got my foundation and I dropped my lip liner, but it doesn't matter. So I use NARS, I don't know which way, it's, I think this is correct, to do my contouring my highlights first. This I remember being the funniest thing I had to learn because at first I came out looking like a clown because I just didn't get it. 
And I think once somebody breaks down the whole, like you're highlighting the parts of your face that like, you know, I guess shadows would highlight, you know, you know the whole light thing. I don't really know how to explain it. Um, once I got that a little more, it made, it made a little bit of sense. So next I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty Steak. Love you, Rihanna. I don't do my nose because I just don't understand how that works. It's very crazy to me. Shout out anyone who can contour their nose because that's a big deal. Oh my goodness, my makeup routine since having a baby, I have a one year old. So first of all, you gotta imagine she walks now. So she walks into the bathroom and she's already ripping everything off of everything. Got my mascara with the top on in her mouth, trying to open it, trying to draw on stuff with it. Um, I've caught her in the room at my vanity, about to put her whole hand in a palette or about to flip over the, um, the press powder, like, there's levels. It's definitely hard and sometimes you have to decide, do I only have time to like cover my couple of blemishes and throw in some mascara or do I have time for a full face? And most days it's mascara and lip gloss and some concealer. So I'm showing you guys the Kehlani, the artist version of the makeup, not the mom version or else we'd be here for like five minutes. So I'm going to set with the Laura Mercier setting powder. Ooh, okay, well I've got some foundation on there. So while that's setting, I'm gonna focus on my eyebrows, which to me has always been the struggle. First of all, we're in quarantine, so my eyebrows haven't been done in centuries. So I'm showing you the struggle eyebrow. So first I'm gonna take my 24 hour brow setter from Benefit. I stopped wearing lash extensions like well before the quarantine. I just wasn't into like looking very like a like a stray cat <laughs> that's what we call it in the house is we look like little stray kittens but i just wasn't into just the freak out craziness it looks when you only have like four eyelashes on your eye so i'm just gonna do my real lashes which i've been taking really good care of and using castor oil for and just curl them What I feel like works for me is layering mascaras. I don't, know, I don't know if that sounds funny, but to me, they do different things. So the first one is like the Lancome Doll Lashes Mascara. I don't use these in any particular order. I just, you know, I just go. So I try to focus on like getting the outer lashes longer so it can have like a, like a cat eye effect. I think that the face people make when they're doing their mascara is the funniest. Does anybody else feel like their lashes on one side is shorter than the other side? Go big or go home from Kat Von D. Uh, and just keep layering it up. This I feel like always makes them like really, like uh, the pigment makes them really dark and thick. I'm gonna wipe this off before it gets too powdery on my face. I'm gonna do some bottom lash. Okay, we got a little bit here, but you can see it looks like I have eyeliner on now. I think I need to do, just give myself a little more color in the face. So I use this like YSL like blush liquid blush thing and I just I just do this a little bit I don't even know if that's the right way to go about it but that's just how I do it so who knows and I take one of these and I feel like I have a lot so I just need to go back with my beauty blender All right, now I think I can do my brows. I think we might are we might be at that point. So I'm back to my benefit brow pencil. You mess up your eyebrow, you mess up your whole face, kinda. So there's so many times I do my makeup 
And I do save my eyebrows for last because I was terrified. And the next thing I know, I'm wiping my eyebrows off a million times. So I'm just trying to make sure that it isn't too heavy in the front because no one likes a Sharpie brow. We'll see. You don't know until they're done. Now I just gotta like clean these things up. I know they'll probably look a little harsh right now, but wait till it all comes together. I am cleaning up my eyebrows to fake the funk so nobody knows that I haven't seen my eyebrow lady since the beginning of the century. Okay, I feel like that made the world a difference. I don't know if you can tell, but I feel like I can tell. So, shout out Super Saint. Black women owned, black women created a uh, makeup brand. So this is part of hers called the Crayon Case. And right now we're gonna be using these two colors to kind of create this sunset thing that I recreated. So I also am using like a lot of her brushes. Not this one, this is a MAC brush. So I'm gonna take the orange, cause it's darker. I'm gonna try not to get it all over the rest of my face. To me it already looks pretty cool. But we're gonna get a slightly smaller brush just from her brand and I'm gonna go into the yellow and go into my inner eye in the middle to kind of do this like sunsetty type of thing. I know most people might like probably use an eyebrow primer so it can show up more, but I didn't intend for it to be like that bright. I want it to be a little more subtle than that, so that's why I didn't use a primer. I really think that who kills the makeup game the most is like watching trans women who have had to not even just learn makeup as modes for expression, but learn makeup to kind of transform and assist in the entire like identity affirmation for themselves. They just do it the best, everything from drag to transformations, to just feminization, or just like being incredible makeup artists in general, they just always kill the best. I recently got this Juicy Couture, whatever this says, Bling Queen highlighter. I'm only gonna use a little bit, but I like that it's liquid because to me it just like hits the sun in a different way. But I'm only gonna use a little bit right here because I'm also gonna use a powder highlight. Laura Mercier, gold ass, whatever this color, addiction, but I called it the gold ass powder just now, but it definitely has a name. One of these, and just, and I'm gonna take a teeny tiny brush. What I'm about to show you is the secret to my life. If I could marry this compact, I probably would. So I'm just gonna take this brush, just take a little bit. You see the difference already? I don't know if you could tell, but I feel like I can see the difference. So just like little minor areas, like your laugh lines or right around the chin. Okay, so I'm pretty sure then all I have left to do is to spray my face. So I'm just gonna set it. And I feel like this spray just makes it look like you've had makeup on all day versus just applied it. Um, Cause no one wants the instant, you know, cake situation. And then I'm gonna take my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So before I do my lips, I would like to just double check that I have Clean my nose ring off. No one likes a super makeup covered nose ring. I'll never forget one of my first times meeting Cardi. Well, our first time linking up after we had did our song. We was at a music uh, festival. We was at the American Music Awards. Wherever I performed, I performed with Eminem. And I sit down and she goes, you better clean your nose ring off. 
And ever since then, I'm on my makeup artist's head about cleaning my nose and off. Now besides that, I also need to clean my tattoos off because I'm not trying to cover them up. I'm very, very proud of my tattoos. I got this tattoo in Germany. To me, my tattoo kind of reminds me, you know when you throw a paper airplane and it doesn't just go straight down, it kind of floats and goes down. It reminds me to, you know, on the way down, just float it out. Don't just allow yourself to just shoot straight down. Just, it's cool to just do this on the way down. Um, I have other face tats. These dots that I got done matching with a friend of mine. Sometimes it leaves like a funny hole in my makeup, but okay, it's fine, I'll live. Everybody knows I love lip gloss. I don't go nowhere without lip gloss, like ever in a trillion zillion years. So first I'm gonna take lip liner. I use various shades of MAC liner. Depending on how dark I wanna go this. I already did an eye, so I don't wanna go like too intense to put your light out, but. I might overline the top lip a little bit, um, but I try not to. It's usually by total accident because I can never get a straight line. Just how I don't know if you guys noticed that I definitely got concealer in my eyebrow, but I'm just not good with the straight lines. And I'll go in a little bit in the corners and around it. It kind of creates this like 90s, like ombre type of situation. And then I just have any type of clear gloss. I really like this rose hip oil clear gloss. It's super hydrating. So, and I get just like the rest of my face, my lips get really dry, so. You can use dollar store lip gloss. You can use beauty supply lip gloss, who cares? All right. That is my face for the day. Let's see. Hope you like it. Hope you try it. Um, shout out to anybody that's ever taught me a tip or a trick as to how to do it better. But yeah, I appreciate it and I hope you enjoy.